Hey, we're going to do lesson 12-1, dividing regions into equal parts. We are also going to be talking about a numerator and denominator, okay? When you write a fraction, you draw a line and you have to use basically two lines here, okay? You have the numerator that's on top and the denominator that's on bottom. Denominator always goes down, right? D for down. So denominator goes down here, numerator goes up on top, okay? Denominator is the whole. It's the total number of parts that we have in the whole, and the numerator is the number that's shaded, okay? So if I have a pie, a pizza, right? that's divided into four equal parts, then my denominator is four, because that's how many parts I have. Let's say I have this one piece is shaded. This is the one piece I'm going to eat, okay? So I'm going to eat, there's four pieces total, that's my denominator is my whole. My numerator, I'm going to eat one out of the four pieces, so I'm going to eat one fourth of the pizza, okay? So let's take a look here. Okay, a fraction is an equal part of a whole. The number above the, the bar in a fraction, so here's our fraction line, okay? The number up above is the numerator, and the number below, call that down, down here is the denominator, since that starts with down. Okay, so write that in, the numerator and the denominator. So a fraction representing one part of a whole that has been divided into equal parts is called a unit fraction. So this is a unit fraction because I only had one part shaded. If I had two parts shaded, we wouldn't call it a unit fraction. One part shaded is called a unit fraction. Just like when we were doing area, right? We counted up the number of squares inside, and this was the unit. This was a square unit, right? One of them was a unit, and this had six units in it. So this is a unit fraction. When you have one part shaded, it's a unit fraction. So this square is divided into how many equal parts? Should be four, right? And the fraction for one part, so if we have this, one part shaded, okay, is called a unit fraction, okay, unit fraction. Now, let's write this as a fraction. Draw your line. Your denominator is the number of, of whole parts that you have, regardless of what's shaded. You have, you have to, to write the denominator, you have to ignore the shading. How many total parts do you have? You have four. And the numerator tells how many are shaded, and that is one. Okay? A whole can be divided into equal parts or unequal parts. Equal parts have the same area. When you're dealing with fractions, it can only be equal parts. Okay? So the shape is divided into three equal parts. We see that one, two, three. Each part is one-third of the area of the shape. This is one-third, that's one-third, and that's one-third. The unit fraction can be written as, okay, draw your fraction line. The denominator is how many parts you have total, so write that number down below the fraction line. Should have been a three. And we're gonna shade one part. So out of these three parts, the numerator means how many parts are shaded be one. So our fraction is one third. If we look at this, these are not equal parts. It has to be fair. It has to be like if these were three pieces of a chocolate bar, it wouldn't matter which one you got. But everybody knows we're going to pick this one. So it, that it's not fair. Therefore, we cannot say that this is one third of the fraction of the chocolate bar and this is also one third. It's not fair. It's not right. doesn't work. Not a fraction. Okay. We just get to skip it and go, nah, not right. All right, 
draw lines to divide the shape into five equal parts. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five going across and one, two, three, four, five, six going down. So I'm gonna have to go across, okay? So we're gonna divide this into five equal parts, okay? One, two, three, four, five. So this is one fifth, one fifth, one fifth, one fifth, and one fifth. So each part is one fifth of the area of the shape, right? This is one out of five sections. This is one out of five sections. So the fraction for each part, they want us to use this, use this as your fraction line. The denominator, which goes down below the fraction line, tells us how many parts total we have, which is what? Five. And let's shade one of them. You can pick any one. You could have shaded that one right in the middle. Out of the five sections, one is shaded. So the fraction for each part is one fifth. Okay. Tell if each figure below shows equal or unequal parts. If the parts are equal, label one of the parts using a unit, unit fraction. Okay, so these are equal. This is basically just a, a square that's turned sideways, right? All of these shapes are equal size. So this one is equal. And if we're going to shade one of them, you can pick any one to shade. Okay, draw your fraction line. The, the denominator is down below the fraction line and we count up the total that we have regardless of what's shaded, and that's four. And out of the four, our numerator tells us how many are shaded, okay? B, again, think about it as this wonderful chocolate bar. Would you want this piece or would you want that piece? If, if one's better than the other, then they are un equal and we don't get to divide we don't we wouldn't write it as a fraction this is not one fourth and that is not one fourth okay this one they all look equal to me okay draw your fraction line and you tell me what fraction that one part is compared to the whole so pause it write your denominator down here and your numerator up there Okay, your denominator, your whole, should be six, and this is one out of the six, which is one-sixth. All right, great job. See you tomorrow.